guys, so today's video is going to be all about my skincare, the products I use, and kind of the skincare routine that I've been on for about two and a half months now. I'm going to say that my skin is nowhere near clear, it's nowhere near perfect. I do get breakouts, not really acne, mainly breakouts. I've noticed a big change in my skin over the past few years, you know, as I've been getting older, I'm now 21. Growing up, I never really broke out at all. I never had acne, never had breakouts anywhere except for my time of the month which I honestly really miss, but like I said, now I do break out, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's not, it just all really depends. So I'm going to show you again the products in detail that I use, I have actually, you know, kind of stepped up and got this stuff and now I'm on a routine, I absolutely love it. So, the first thing is my primer and I'm not really sure why I wanted to put this in here, I thought if anyone asked you know then it would just be in here I do not wear primer all the time I don't know I feel like I don't have to sometimes like it's not needed but the one I use is by hard candy it's the hard candy sheer envy primer I know hard candy products are very limited in stores so I'm not sure where else you can find it besides Walmart probably online and this is what it looks like it was about six dollars I thought I would put this in here it is a pretty good one but again I don't use it all the time. Starting as if I were taking my makeup off, which I do this routine twice a day. In the morning, it's not as in detail. I skip a few steps, honestly, because I don't have makeup on in the morning. But the makeup remover wipes that I use are actually just baby wipes, and they are just a generic Walmart brand. I used to use makeup remover wipes. Some of them, I find, don't work as well as baby wipes do, and you also don't get as much for your money as you do with baby wipes. So these just have 80 in it. Again, they're a generic Walmart brand. They're unscented and alcohol free. This is what it looks like. They're not in here right now. They're actually in a Ziploc bag in my bathroom because the seal, like after a while, it doesn't want to stay closed. So I wanted to keep them fresh. But again, these are really inexpensive and I believe I got them for like two bucks, not even at Walmart. So these work amazing. Absolutely love these. The next product I just recently got, it is the Maybelline New York Clean Express Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I've heard so many good things about this. I've watched reviews. It says it's oil free and I've been needing one for so long. I just picked this up yesterday so honestly I haven't used it yet. I'll probably use it tonight but I wanted to include it because I know it's going to be my routine so I didn't want to leave it out and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it from what people say about it. But again, it's the waterproof one. It's oil free. It's a 4 fluid ounce and I got this from Walgreens yesterday for about $5.99 and that is what it looks like. So I cannot wait to try this out. And then the next product I use is my face wash and I've had this for about not quite 3 months yet and I haven't used a whole lot of it. It is the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash. It says number one dermatologist recommended. And it's a 9.1 fluid ounce, so it's a decent size. It says it's acne treatment, and I got this from Walmart for about $6, I believe. I had a coupon. It might be between $6 and $8 without one, but it's not too bad. So this is what it looks like. And again, I've had this since almost three months, and that is how much I use. So this is going to last me a really long time. I don't believe this prevents, you know, breakouts or anything or acne, but I do believe that when you have it, it definitely helps your acne, helps dry it up and make it go away a little bit faster. So for moisturizer, I actually use the Cetaphil one. So this is one I use. Again, it's a Cetaphil moisturizing cream. It says for dry and sensitive skin, and that's definitely what I have. I do have dry skin, never oily, just dry and sensitive. I do get some redness on my skin from time to time. And this is a 16 ounce jar, so this is going to last you a while. It was, I believe, between $10 and $11 at Walmart. This is what it looks like. And it's a very thick consistency. I didn't think I would like it because it's so thick. This is the consistency, if you guys can see that. And I just absolutely love it. Again, it is definitely worth the money. This will last you a long time. I've had it since my birthday, like I said, and I haven't used like hardly any of it. And then one of the last things I use is a face mask. And I only have one because this one I've used a long time ago. I've used it for years. I loved it. It was inexpensive and it worked, so I went back to it. It is actually the Queen Helene. 
I think that's how you say it. <laughs> the original mint julep mask, it says it helps drop acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink enlarged pores. It is a 8 ounce. This is what it looks like. Absolutely in love with this stuff. It is a green color if you guys don't know that. And that's what that looks like. I definitely recommend this face mask to you guys. It's very cooling, it's very soothing. I definitely tend to use this when I have like a stressful day and I feel like my face is gonna break out. Usually when I stress out really bad, I know that my face is gonna break out without a doubt. I use this like on a stressful day when I wanna relax and feel some breakouts coming on or I use it when I have some breakouts and stuff and I wanna kinda dry them up and make them go away faster, I'll use this and it really does help guys. So I believe this was like four or five dollars, not even at Walgreens. So definitely check this out. So that is all the products that I use, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope I helped some of you guys with your questions. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can message me, tweet me, leave them down below. I also have updated links now, so make sure you check them out down below. And I think that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video.